All right, get ready for a sprint across the political finish line. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris both coming to Georgia this week as early voting starts. No snails in this race for sure, but let's talk about it. Do these visits actually make a difference to voters? 11 Alive's Karis Bodger live at the Buckhead Library. A normal busy early voting location, Karis, with some insight on this for us this midday. Yes, one political expert at Emory University says at this point, most voters have their minds made up about who they are going to vote for. However, he notes that both campaigns are aware that early, ver early voting will make a difference when it comes to voter turnout. And in Georgia, more and more people have been taking advantage of early voting over the last few years. Just to give you an idea of those numbers, in 2018, over 1.8 million people voted early and in person. In the 2020 presidential election, nearly 2.7 million people cast their votes early and in 2022 a non-presidential election year more than 2.2 million people voted early and in person now we asked a few people across metro atlanta if they plan to vote early many said yes citing child care concerns transportation and work schedules one of the benefits of voting early they say is the flexibility of where you can vote during the early voting period people can go to any polling place Place in the county where they are registered to vote on election day, you are required to go to your designated voting location. So my plan is to kind of see how things are looking, but we live pretty close to a polling place and an early voting spot it's right down the street. Uh, as long as the, the kids are behaving well and I can get away for a little bit, I'm going to hop over there uh, as soon as I get a chance the next couple weeks. And as we mentioned, early voting starts tomorrow, but a few more important dates for people to keep in mind. If you plan on voting absentee, you have until October 25th to request your ballot. That ballot must be received by November the 5th. In Atlanta, I'm Kara Spelger, 11 Alive News.